A lot of times when you play in solo queue, there's a good chance that you might feel like your teammates are not quite experienced enough, and that's okay. My advice is that you should learn to just accept that's a part of the game and just try your best to be the ultimate difference maker in the game. Our Cyclops and Rafaela are trying to invade the enemy's jungle from the start. Usually, I will not recommend this approach, especially with such a weak early game jungler such as Cyclops. But luckily their tank doesn't seem to know that he should help the jungler at the start, so this worked out in the end. What an unusual start. I wouldn't say we got a huge advantage since our jungler died as well, but I think we got a little bit more from this trade. Great. It might seem tempting to last hit this little, but please don't steal the jungler scripts, especially before the 5 minute mark. You don't know how many times I have seen teammates doing this rookie mistake. Always try your best to not lose any minion weight from the mid lane in the early game. Clear it fast and then proceed to provide support to the other lanes. I'm gonna wait for my teammate Masha to get closer before I engage Badang. They probably use all their ults already in the top lane. We could try to turn this around if we play this right. After getting such a huge victory, players tend to get that false sense of security, and that's when you should strike. Team already got this, it's better for me to defend the mid turret, since it looked like the monkey was pushing it. Just got line in truncheon. The lining was enough to finish him off. It was a bit of a gamble, but I was quite positive that was enough. Of course I could have miscalculated, but with enough experience, more often than not, you'll be able to tell instinctively if that's enough damage or not. When you are playing against heroes that can move from point A to point B extremely fast, such as Johnson, Aldos, Ling and Fanny, 
then you really need to be extra conscious throughout the whole game about the enemy's draft. This is like deja vu, we gotta try to overturn the situation once again. fight. Hopefully we don't lose another big team fight or else things might turn ugly really fast. Not good, they got caught again. Fortunately, we managed to turn the table, but it seems like the same thing keeps repeating. We chased for too long already, we gotta keep in mind that they got Johnson and who will definitely crash here without doubt. Here he comes. But unfortunately our Masha tunnel vision with that chase and forgot to think about all the other factors. Johnson is driving, so we gotta be careful with our movement. No devs don't hold a candle to what's gonna happen next. Glow embrace! If you're not the tank, Never be in the front like this. Maybe if Leslie is not paying attention, I can catch her off guard. She's paying attention. Can really go out because there's a good chance they're in the right bush. I'm hoping our tank give us some vision. Me. 
Lack of map awareness is definitely one of the biggest reasons why a lot of players lose in the late game. I saw that Harley used his ult just a moment ago. I don't need to be too worried about him. This game is gonna be really tricky. Harley might go back to his hat, I'll just keep aiming towards that direction. Four of them are dead. If I don't let the monkey recall to his base, we could probably end the game right now. Whatever, I gotta make a sacrifice. It would have been nice if Cyclo helped our marksman end the game, but it is what it is. Oof, that's okay, just more time for more fun, right? Smiley face. By taking a quick glimpse at the map, it tells me that this Badang is alone and definitely out of position. Let's delay his recall. It seems like Soong and Leslie are coming this way. It's time to retreat. I'm pinging retreat, but unfortunately Rafaela also tunnel vision as well. Rough game. At this point, 
I'm thinking that I will benefit from the blue more than Cyclops, but I wanted to trust him one more time. I hate this bug, which I cast this skill, but it doesn't register. That bug literally just killed me. It hurts when you die by something that you couldn't control. Trying to take the lore here is absolute madness. I really wanted them to stop. Extra fun. Definitely cannot contest his lord. We should be defending this super wave and not try to chase for any kills. Actually, it probably was worth it, since that bought us enough time to clear the lore without losing an inhibitor. Never mind, we still lost everything, cause after clearing the lord, the team didn't know what to do. Leslie thought she was good at poking, but forgot that Cecilia is even better at that. Very likely that somebody is hiding this bush. Harley just used his ult, we should try to go for him. Good map awareness by Masha. It's only Johnson soon defending. If we play this right, we could end the game right here. Also, an extra wave is coming from the mid lane. Going for their base is definitely the right play. Well, this was definitely quite an eventful game. Like I said at the start of the video, 
A lot of times, you might find yourself with some inexperienced teammates, but if you can perform well and be the difference maker, then there's a good chance you can win even in those situations. Also, it's not helpful to trash talk them either, because to be frank, it's just gonna lower your chance at winning in the end. So just do you, play your best and hope for the best.